And we're back to another episode of Let's Play Grandia! I'm your host, Nicolegado. As we head to the Rango Mountains. The Rango freaking Mountains! Let's go ahead and get started. This place is a little complicated. Well, it's not, well, it's a large area, but I wouldn't say it's complicated. But it's very open. So you gotta be really careful where you're going, or you're gonna miss some very important stuff. Stuff, man! Well, again, these are battles I think we've seen already before. I don't remember, really. But even if we haven't seen them before, I'm going to do them again anyway. I know there is one that is repeated here, though. Which we will attempt to ignore as we, if we can. Let's make sure that this guy is dead. Which it is. And the one who might be behind the most in skills is probably going to be pushing Fina here. But one of the things we're going to want to do is try and level up Justin's Earth skill. Not bad, eh? I want to say at least to level 2. And then work on his water magic, really, is what we want to work on. Um, and we'll probably finish off, top off Fina's fire level as well. Since that's pretty full, too. May as well get up one more level. Wouldn't kill us. Um... So let's see. We've got, a, as you can see, a big area. A very large area, so... Lots and lots and lots of different routes. Lots and lots of different things to find. This is a new enemy. For sure. These are the odd bird. They can be a little annoying if you're not careful. But I am as careful as careful can be. And they can also call in more birds, but... This one is obviously not going to do that. They're, it's going to use a special attack. So. We use some of that. As you can see that attack, the standard attack, wasn't enough to kill it either. But I kind of want to get beat up a little bit in order to warrant us using more um, our character's MP, per se. And the more healing we can do, the better. Go ahead and cook this last bird here. Oh, he canceled us out. Oh, shit, and he hit us again. And now you're gonna get it, Boyd. Right, pow right in the kisser. Let's just attack it. Pow right in the freaking kisser, huh? Take that, you stupid bird, huh? Who do you think you are? Yeah, no, that's terrible voice. I'm not even really trying anymore. I could care less. But yeah, look at that. One Earth spell, 21, plus 21 to our Earth skill. No reason not for us not to play around with our Earth magic, um, little by little. And then again, we're going to also add, once we level up Justin's water, we're going to level up Tina's water. The idea is really to get it mildly leveled up to a point where we can actually do more skills. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to moves, obviously, there's how we learn more skills. At level 3, Justin will learn a, a stronger water spell, which I think is Snooze. But with 3, plus 3 um, water spell level and plus 2 earth spell, he'll learn something very useful. And thus, the more water learned here and so on. But what we want to do is make sure that Fina's learning water. As you can see, she has more water spells available to her. Um, so we're going to want to make sure that we work on that as well. So it just things to can things for us to think about as we work as we're working here. Um, obviously we still gotta keep our mace level going because we need to get it at least up to ten. Let's go ahead and throw out Justin's water magic here. There we go. Though Fina is mostly gonna be our hero of choice. But we you know we're gonna work with it as best as we can while we can. Two more water magic spells and that should actually max that out. As we get surprised. Great! A bunch of odd birds. We'll see after the battle. Okay, so finish that off. Justin gained a uh, water spell level, which is good. Always a good thing. Now we kind of got to figure out where we are, because we're a little jumbled around here. Um, like I said, it's easy to get turned around in this place. Okay, here's the beginning area. Let's take a look and see what we've got. Let's see. So 
Maybe there. Let's get pick a fight with these clowns, because we're all about leveling our gear and our weapons. Killed them pretty quick. So where is it again? There it is. So we killed them. I just wanted to make sure I got that over there. I forgot about the gold over there. So we want to head this way. Let's see. Well, I don't know. It just depends on what way you want to go, I guess. Um, let's see, there's some birds, some enemies. Alright. That battle's won. So let's go over there and get that gold. We're going to have to fight for it. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Boys, we want to head east at this point for another good treasure. Alright. So let's see, let's move over here. Fight these guys. Alright. Kill those peckers. Um, I don't think there's anything down here so much as we need to go up this little hill. Find the next item here. There should be a, a, a equipable, I think. So we'll find out in a moment. Okay, so that's one. Let's uh, keep moving. There it is. This is known as the Y metal, but it's actually, I think, called the Metal of Yore, I think. It's been a while. Metal of Yore. This is a great item for Justin as it restores his SP whenever he's attacked. It's one of the few times I actually will remove his hero badge um, and give it to somebody else who's probably more deserving. Somebody who needs more action, but really nobody does. But I like putting it on because then he can start using his, his SP-based attacks, and you don't feel so bad. Okay, that battle is over. Let's keep moving. Let's use our bird's eye view to see the area. We should be coming up to another treasure area soon. All right, let's keep moving. Where is it? There it is. Let's fight this battle first. And we're walking, we get ourselves here. Um, a seed of moves. Now, instead of just picking up, we're going to use it right away. What this does is it gives 2x maximum SP to any character. We're going to give it to Justin. Just because by default, you're going to want to make sure he has the most SP of any character. And through later portions of the game, you're going to want to make sure Fina has the most MP available, give or take. But just some things to keep in mind. We're going to head this way first. Should lead us to a glorious, beautiful, sexy mana egg. Definitely want to pick up, as well as some more fights here. Okay, some healing that needed to be done. Let's keep moving here. Let's fight this little one elf on its own here. And walking. Now heading back this way will take us to the next part of the mountains here. I think I used all of my, I think I used all the damage we've taken to heal up, so I don't think anybody else is slightly wounded, so I don't know what we can do about that. Let's see a little bubbly looking thing, that might mean something, but we don't know. And we go for, through our, officially our first camp scene, yay! Yeah. Oh, I farted. Sorry, I had to like tilt over for that one. Uh, so they go through this bunch of stuff about oh, I'm tired. Uh, a lot of back, more, a lot more with the backstory. It appears somebody's stashing a tent somewhere. You know, you got a lot of junk in your trunk, girl. Interesting. Much confidence in me. Bitch was whack, yo. Um, so a lot of this is just gibberish, really. You know? <laughs> oh well, that probably may be answered later. But for now back to this.
Yep, yeah, well, you know, that was the plan, but now we've come up with another plan. And thus, we, on that note, after inspiring her with my massive manliness, we'll go ahead and sleep on it. <laughs> She's always up before we are. What a jerk. We'll show off. Show off. see yeah 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 yes it is the misty forest and beyond that is a big mother wall that's big We'll find out what defines that as the end of the world, I'm sure, later. Right now, it's hard to tell what that exactly means. It looks like a castle or something. I'm sure we'll find out. Or do we already know? It's a huge wall. Yeah, you are, Justin. You are the first person I've ever known, too, to be excited at fucking scenery. Sociopath. Let's go ahead and do the recovery, even though we're already, already covered. Alright, we're all saved up. We want to go this way. It'll bring us out to another clearing again. Made that sucker a bitch. So let's keep going, and let's take a look here. Now, there's some gold some enemies. So Sue's learned the skill Fire Away, which is our best arrow skill for the moment. So let's keep moving here. So now that we've gotten some of that money, uh, let's go ahead and head this way. As usual, checking for enemies, so that way we can pick them off. And get our well-deserved experience. Alright, that was easy. And we find... All these suckers. Ginseng. Not like, not like it's something we're really using. Let's take a look at our map. Don't see anything that looks like treasure per se. Uh, let's see. Let's just pick a fight here. Alright, we'll get ourselves some money. Fight. And we're walking. Finding nothing. There either. Another fight. Another battle, per se. Alright, kill them. Let's take a look and see what we can see. There's more stuff. No real answer to what I'm trying to find here. Looks like the way out. So we don't want to go that way yet, because that'll lead out of the dungeon like area. Head backtrack a little bit. See if we see a different route here. This different route means different goods. Let's fall down the edge here. There's some gold and an enemy. I killed that punk. What we fight? Oh crap! Okay, so let's keep going here. This is kind of one of the things we're looking for, which leads to this item here. Should be a power fruit, yeah. We'll go ahead and use that. We're going to use that on Justin. That'll up his power by three, his strength anyway. Which is always good, always a good thing. We're going to get attacked in a moment here. And the battle is won, so let's keep going. East here. We're looking for something specific. Oh, dang it! Uh, I didn't want to leave. 
There's another mana egg there, and I freaking passed it. So hold on one second. If I have to walk through this map again, I'm gonna be mad. It looks like it took me back to where I left off, but uh, trust it here. I left all the freaking enemies. We spawned all of the freaking enemies. Let's see, there's this, but this sh I don't think this is it either. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so I got my mana egg, so I'm happy now. Okay, and that's everything. Cool. I was gonna say, I better not be leaving that fucking thing behind. I'll be pissed. Alright, let's get the hell out of this dump. Alright. And exit we go. Now it should open up a new area on the map, as you can see. Um, for the most part, I mean, we can go to the Dom Ruins now. Really, what I'm looking for is to go back here. And what we're going to do is two things. We're going to go inside our adventurer shop and, get us, and use those eggs we just found. One on Justin and one on Fina. So let's go ahead and use... Ooh, this is tough. Um... I would have to say we're gonna give Justin fire. And we're gonna give Win I wanna say we give Wind to Fina. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And we're out of it. We're out of mana eggs. For the time being. Okay, so we've done all that. Oh, you know what I wanna do? Well, one thing I wanna do is before I do much of anything else. I want to sell some of those antidotes, because we're carrying a lot of antidotes and we don't need to be, because they're eating up a lot of inventory space. So there's no shame in selling a bunch of our antidotes here. So we're going to keep the hatchet, the antidote can go, the smarnas can go, and we'll keep one or more. So we got two antidotes out of all that, we'll sell the hero badge. Wind Charm's kind of just getting annoying, so may sell that. Yeah, we don't need three antidotes. Two antidotes should be fine. And hell, we'll sell the Wind Charm. I'm not using it. I don't see a reason to hold on to it. If I need it later, I'm probably I could probably buy the damn thing somewhere. No, not really. But again, it's all. It's all debatable, really, however you want to do it. So I'm not, and I'm not a big stickler on uh, that kind of stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and get item, an item out of our stashing place, the defense seed. Put that on Fina. Let's go ahead and use that now while we're at it. So let's use the defense seed, which raises vitality. And really, the person who could use it best is either Justin or Fina. We're gonna put it on Fina. So there we go. Alright, so, before we continue on... I'm trying to think here. Uh, what do we really want to do? No, let's just do it here. We're going to go ahead and heal up and save here, so we'll be right back. Okay, all healed and all saved. Let's head to the Dom Ruins. Ruins. But before we do that, I believe... There's this, the road to the Dome Ruins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the way to go, really, is to follow the trail east. I forget which way, but one of these ways will take you there really fast. One of these ways will hardly get you there. There's some gold hidden behind that tree. We're introduced to a new enemy. This is the Ent. The Ent has a few peculiar things about it, but one specific thing that we're going to exploit is it has a weakness for hatches, for, for axe weapons, but more importantly it has a weakness to fire. Fire! Now, the idea though is to try and not waste lots of magic and MP and crap, so let's see how we do. As you can see, regular melee is not going to do much of anything to these suckers. This is a great place for Justin to level up and Fina to level up fire magic. Here goes! Ha! Usually whenever you fight these tree dudes, this is the place and the time to do a lot of this stuff. The other thing too is to probably equip a hatchet on Justin. 
that way you're not using too much of his MP. So like you're only using the fire magic when they're in groups that you can hit all of them, or, or at least two of them. And then after you hit two of them, you don't have to worry about the rest of it, really. We can try and cancel it out, but I doubt it's going to work. Sue missed. And we'll see strategically where everyone is. And I'm going to also point something else out, too, to you. While we're at, while we're at it. Um, okay. Look at the experience difference that is required for Sue and Justin and Fina. Though Justin needs more experience because he just leveled, but look at what level Sue's at. She's still at level 7 and needs a ridiculous amount of experience points to level. Just something you might want to take, take note of. Not that it's bad or anything, but it is peculiar, don't you think? Maybe just a wee bit. There's some treasure here. Pick that up. We continue to walk through this maze. Oh, enemies. See after the battle. Alright, that sucker's dead. Get us some more treasure. We continue deeper into the woods. Still slightly unaware of what way I'm going. It's really easy to get turned around here, so. Be aware. Try to watch where you're going. As we pick up a miracle drink. And we're going to continue to the west over here to get into another fight. And we're walking. The question is where are we walking to? There's an enemy. Alright, kill that little jackhole. Here we find the last big item that we're really looking for. That's the speed seed. We're going to use that on Justin. Alright, now that we've done that, uh, let's go ahead and just keep going here. Here's the big ass little wall area here. So let's go ahead and this way. Actually, get an idea. I get the idea. I think I'm going the wrong way, but we'll find out in a moment. I hit the right record button. Sorry. From but anyway, the direction I went was I think from the seat I went uh, west and then followed it as it went kind of south and then I went east again when it turned and you actually see a different colored mountain area. I'm totally sorry. I, I'm sitting there going why is the little light not on? Am I not recording this? And I was like, yep, that's a problem. I'm not recording. Great. You're a winner! I'll go back out and show it to you though if you are concerned. Because I'm sure somebody's like, dude, you totally fucking bullshitted that. No, it's really not that hard actually. We came from this direction over here, you know, here's the thing here, the seed was actually set, there's, you can see that chest that of the, uh, of the uh, miracle water that we grabbed, so it's not like we were far away from that area, it's right there, just to throw that back out there since somebody might say, you're, you're a total cheater man, fucking cheater! <laughs> All right. Well, let's keep moving, and then we get introduced to our first new battle. I like these guys. They divide more frequently than the purple slimes, so there's a benefit there. But bigger than that, you can get as I've seen as many as eight or nine in a battlefield, and you cast a spell on them to do some kind of like AOE damage. You'll get lots, you'll level up a lot of fire and wind spells here. So this is a good time to be doing it. That and there's a save point really close by too, so it wouldn't hurt to do it, especially if you need it. We'll use Howl, for example. Big AoE spell. It practically hits everything. Oh wind! 
blow him away. That's right, blow him good, dear. Gurgle, sturgle. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. There we go. So actually, killing that is probably not a great idea because it was about to. No, it's actually these slime gas. Yeah, they don't always divide though, so you have to, pretty easy, right? you have to keep a pretty good eye on them. Just to make sure. Sweet. You can see right there, there's a big level for wind. Not so much for fire, but when they start dividing and stuff, and you can get four or five of them in, in, in on an attack, you'll be happy now. As you can see, we can't cross that area there. We'll ignore that for now. We keep moving around here. What do we got? Another new enemy. These guys can be a little awkward, but nothing that we can't handle. And you can see it's just the one by itself. It's called a uh, sand diver. Sand divers hit pretty hard, so you might want to go after them first, just to be on the safe side. But yeah, other than that, they're not really that threatening. Because I hit the one that was actually probably going to go bite again. Really can't take me anywhere. As we slay that All right, we ball. Won. Yes, we did. Alright, that's good. So, done that. Go ahead and uh, see the enemies here, so let's fight them first. See now we get the blue pill. If I'm not mistaken, heals SP, I think, so it's something that we'll hold on to for a while. Restores 5 MP of all levels, 3 level 1 MPs to offensive. This is actually pretty good for, for restoring that. We picked up a lot of Chola in the forest, as the enemies in the forest actually drop it. So we will make use of that as needed. Um, if we get to a safe point. Now let's take a look at our map here. You see we got a lot of places to go here. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, well, first of all, we're going to do this systematically. And by, check that, by that, I mean we're going to check one side of this area first. And then we'll work on the other side. We can do a fight here. And we're walking. We come to the wall of this area here. We're looking for gold, per se. And we're introduced to a new enemy! New type of enemy, anyway. These enemies here are vampire bats. You obviously want to stop them from sucking blood, if you can. Though that's not always possible. Because we're under attack. Kill the bat somehow, there we go. Not bad, eh? Yay! Sweet. Okay, so we've done that. Let's continue this way. Now we can enter the ruin now. But we don't really want to do that quite yet. Keep going south here. It will lead us to more goodies. Which is you. Yay, which is dynamite. And then we'll find some gold and some enemies, obviously. Okay, so that battle is won. Go ahead and pick some more fights here. Clean out the rest of the enemies located in the area. Alright, kill them, and that should be everything, I think, for the moment. So let's go ahead and hit back to our save point here. And as usual, the trick before using it. Go ahead and heal everyone. Actually, there's even a little trick coming up, but we're going to save that. So on the next episode of Let's Play Grandia, if I'm not mistaken, We'll get to use a neat little trick to level up our water magic a little bit. 
as alongside some other things that we plan on doing, like exploring the rest of the Dalm ruins. So we'll see you there. <laughs>